Hey everyone, Caroline Roberts here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys three reasons why God maybe took a relationship out of your life. So if you're interested in watching more, then definitely stay tuned. So the first reason why God may have taken a relationship out of your life is if that relationship was toxic and unhealthy. God is a good father and he gives good gifts and if he's going to put a relationship in your life, it's going to be a relationship that is good for you, that is good for your well-being and for your growth. And this is not to say that relationships are perfect. Perfection does not exist. We all have areas that we can work on. We can all grow. But God wants you to be in a relationship and in an environment where you can grow, where you can experience his goodness and his love. And if you are in a toxic and unhealthy relationship, I can tell you right now that that is not God's will for your life. So if God allows this breakup to happen, if God takes this relationship out of your life, it may just be that this relationship was just honestly bad for you and that it was a toxic and unhealthy environment. Number two, the second reason why God may take a relationship out of your life is he has something better for you and he doesn't want you to grow comfortable. He doesn't want you to grow content and settle for less than his best. I really want to encourage you in this video to wait on God's best for you. When we say best, we're not saying wait on the perfect person, but I believe that God has a best for you. He knows the plans he has for you. And the Bible says that he has plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And if God has plans for you to be in a relationship, it should be one that is prosperous. It should be one that doesn't harm you. It should be God's best for you. And I feel like many times we settle because we don't feel like we'll find someone better. And I've been there. And when I was there, I was at a place where I didn't know my worth. I didn't know my value. I didn't know who I was in Christ. So I was willing to settle for anyone that just showed interest in me, that just wanted to be with me. But that's not enough. God wants you to be with someone who values you, who will treat you right, who will treat you like the precious jewel and daughter of the king, son of the king that you are. We're not going to give a baby a million dollars. We're not going to trust a baby to manage and maintain money because babies do not understand the value of money. They do not understand how to maintain and manage money and they don't understand the purpose in money or why it is used for, right? So you wouldn't give a million dollars to a baby, to an immature child who lacks understanding. And in the same way, God sees you as so valuable. God sees you as so precious. He doesn't just want to give you away to anybody. He doesn't just want you to be in a relationship with someone who is immature and with someone who doesn't value you for who you truly are and who doesn't even see the purpose in being with you. And that's the beauty about even marriage. When I think of marriage, marriage has a purpose. Marriage has an intention. So if it is your desire to get married, I believe that God has given you that desire. And I believe that God is going to send someone who has the same desire, who has the same mindset, and who has that intention and purpose of marriage down the road. And the third reason why God maybe took a relationship away in a certain season of your life is maybe in that time, it wasn't time to be in a relationship. Maybe there were other things that you know you had to focus on, whether it was your professional development, your education, your spiritual growth. I believe, as the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11, that God makes everything beautiful in its time. So you don't have to rush it. When it is the right time, it'll be beautiful. It'll be amazing. And the Bible says in Song of Solomon chapter 8, verse 4, 
that we should not awaken or arouse love before it's time or before it pleases. So many of us are frustrated and we're like, why is this relationship not working out? Or why do I keep finding myself in toxic relationships, toxic environments, and it is just not the time yet? Maybe you're not ready to be in a relationship and that's okay. There is one relationship that everyone is always ready to be in and that is a relationship with God. And the bonus is maybe God took that relationship out of your life because it was pulling you away from your relationship with God. Maybe it was a distraction and maybe you know you idolized that relationship so much that you started to see that person as your God. You started to see that person that you always went to for advice, that person that you always went to to cry on their shoulder and you're like, God, this doesn't seem like it was an unhealthy relationship. This person wasn't mean to me. This person wasn't hurtful towards me. I actually love this person. I actually cared about this person. So why would you allow this relationship to end, right? And then you're confused asking why it didn't work out. But God saw that this relationship was hindering your growth, even though you may not have seen it. This relationship was hindering your growth because the only way that you can fully develop into everything that God calls you to be is through and by knowing him and through and by your relationship with him. So if this relationship was pulling you away from God, pulling you away from spending time with him, pulling you away from reading the Bible, pulling you away from some of the things that you believe, and especially if you were unequally yoked with this person and they don't even share your same beliefs, they don't have the same mindset, maybe they don't even believe in God, then this could be a sure reason why God allowed this relationship to end in your life. Those are my three reasons and my bonus reason for why God allows a relationship to end or why he ends a relationship in your life. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time on my channel, definitely don't forget to subscribe. And I also want to share that this month I am accepting a few new people to work with me. So if you guys don't know, I am a writer, an author, and an entrepreneur as well as a business coach. So I'm extending the opportunity for some of you guys to work with me. So if you're interested in applying, then fill out the form to this link. The link is caroline.com slash WWM. WWM stands for work with me. So visit this link and fill out the form and I would love to see how we can partner together to help you fulfill your purpose and carry out the certain assignments that God has placed on your life. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.